on Josh here, and guess what month it is? Nickelodeon month! So, all this month we'll be taking a look at the Nicktoons games based around the early 2000s era. So, we'll be taking a look at Nicktoons Freeze Frame Frenzy, Nickelodeon Party Blast, Nicktoons Unite, and Battle for Volcano Island. So to kick off the month, we'll be reviewing Nicktoons Freeze Frame Frenzy for the Game Boy Advance. Well, I shouldn't be saying that since it's probably in the title of your video. The game has replaced various Nicktoons stars from the 2000s era, like Danny Fenton, Spongebob, Timmy Turner, Otto Rocket, Tommy Pickles from All Grown Up, and Arnold. You pick any of these characters as you help Jimmy Neutron put characters that got mixed up into other worlds back into their own worlds by taking pictures of them, and finding out who mixed up the characters in the first place. Meh, it's not a very deep story, but... For a game that is based upon mixing up Nicktoons characters and placing them in different shows, it gets the job done pretty well. For the gameplay, think of Pokemon Snap with a Nickelodeon paint. And on the Game Boy. See Nintendo, a sequel to Pokemon Snap would have also worked on the Game Boy Advance. Now work on it for the 3DS! You progress through five worlds with five stages, and the last being a boss, a robot version of a Nicktoons character. Each character has also a walking speed and a flash radar that you might want to pay attention to as the levels will get difficult as the game goes on. As when you complete a level, you are graded based on how many objectives you completed and how many characters you've saved. Depending on the characters you use, will determine how easy the level will be for you. This in turn gives the game a high replay value, seeing what the level will be like, especially during the boss fights. The visuals are very well done for a Game Boy game, seeing different characters act differently according to the world they're in. However, it only happens on very rare occasions. Also, Worlds are very representational to show that they are from, and you can tell that in an instant where you are at. Finally, different characters from other shows appear in the worlds too. These characters only appear in the worlds of the playable characters, not in their own levels. For example, you do see characters from My Life as a Teenage Robot, The Wild Thornberries, Invader Zim, Tack and the Power Juju, and Hey Arnold. They appear in the levels, but they do not have worlds of their own. Well, technically, that's partial light. Invader Zim and the Wild Thornberries do have levels, but they're like really mini, small levels. They're not big. Nicktoons Freeze Frame Frenzy is surprisingly a very well made game with very high replay value, excellent animation, and really good character designs and level designs. However, it is very short, but the high replay value is what gives this game a very high praise. So with that, I give this game a B. Because the high replay value fixes the really short length. And so, with that, next week we'll be reviewing Nickelodeon Party Blast. But, by the way, I wonder who developed this game? Oh, crap. Hello, Josh here, and guess what? Guess what? Guess what? It's... Nick, 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 Nick. Damn it. Nick Tinchy Knight. Wrong game! Damn door. Duh!